Hello everyone, my name is Dwight David and welcome to another episode of Elite Noir's 5-Minute Firearms Review. I'm going to start this review out with a million dollar question. The proverbial elephant in the room, so to speak. Is the high-end AR-15 variant like a Daniel Defense DDM4 V7 Pro better than a regular run-of-the-mill AR-15 style rifle? Is it really worth the money? Well, that's kind of like asking the Chevy Corvette Stingray or Ford F-150 Lightning Platinum Edition better than a regular car or a pickup truck. They both get you from point A to B. It's just how you get there. Well, the same holds true for rifle. They both shoot. It's just how you get there and which one's more accurate. As with anything you own, your own personal skill set makes a difference in helping you get the most out of whatever it is you're paying for. It's also a matter of perspective. And of course, your bank account. That money matters. We all know it's the components in the build and the technology that drives the price of anything top shelf. So stick around while I get into the details. Then you can decide for yourself. Headquartered in Black Creek, Georgia, Daniel Defense is one of America's best manufactured AR-15 variants. As some of you may know, it's by no means an entry-level rifle in terms of pricing and quality. Just to get into the game, you'll be forking out a minimum of $1,800 and the prices only go up from there. Known for their legendary cold hammer forged barrels with a rifle inch gas system, the Danny Defense DDM4 V7 rifle is one of the company's top products and is built around a CNC machine 7075 T6 aluminum upper and lower receiver and is available in several finishes. After a little browsing of the available finishes, I selected the Pro version with the 18 inch barrel in gunmetal gray with red anodized accents. I just happen to love this look. For those of you who follow me on social media, you already know I just can't leave a firearm as it was shipped out of the box. No more so than I can leave my car or motorcycle stock. I must personalize it and or trick it out as I see fit. I will speak more about my DDM4 V7 Pro changes later on in the video, so, so stick around. The DDM4 V7 Pro rifle comes with an 18 inch competition profile barrel, which is cold hammer forged out of chrome Molly Bendham for Denium Steel. It's chrome lined and heavy phosphate coated as per military specifications, and it has a one in seven twist and a half inch by 28 TPI muzzle thread. These barrels are what sets the Daniel Defense apart from all the other manufacturers. They are manufactured in house in a good old UFSA. The barrel is high pressure tested and magneto particle inspected and comes with a factory issue Danny Defense Muzzle Climb Mitigator, which is manufactured out of 17.4 pH stainless steel and comes with a salt bath nitrate finish. The DDM4 features a direct impingement gas system, a mintless gas tube, and the pin lower profile gas block that CNC machined out of 4140 hardened steel and is phosphate coated. The barrel and gas system are protected by a 6160 T6 aluminum CNC machine Daniel Descent MFR 15 inch handguard. It offers a full length mill standard 1913 Picatinny rail on top and a Daniel Defense bolt up system square nut, several QD sling attachment points and several inlock slots for the rails. The free float MFR handguard helps to keep the overall weight down really ergonomic and is modular. These rails are another component Dane Defense is well known for over the years. The upper receiver comes with indexing marks and M4 ramp feed that will set any standard AR-15 style magazine. The lower receiver offers features such as a flared magazine well, ambidextrous safety lever, and a quick detach sling swivel attachment point. My one little ding is that I wish the flared magazine well was just a little bit more flared or came with the magwell option for competition. But I guess that's what aftermarks are for, isn't it? Other key features of the Pro version include a Geise automatic super dynamic three gun trigger. 
In combination with the rifle and gas system and muzzle climb mitigator, the trigger helps to deliver rapid hits on target with a light, short pull, and quick reset. The Radium Competition Raptor charging handle, as well as the Radium Competition Talon selector, come with the Pro version also, and are both finished with a red anodized color. The Radium is a grip and rip type charging handle. Competition is likely to have you running around with the magazine inserted, no round in the changer, so having an oversized latch helps with both of these challenges. The DDM4 V7 comes with a factory issued Daniel Defense pistol grip which is manufactured out of glassfield polymer and it features a soft touch insert. The stock is also manufactured out of that same polymer mix and features a soft touch padding on the, on the cheek piece. It's installed on a six position 70-75 T6 aluminum machine receiver extension and buffer tube that has a heavy type recoil buffer. There's just something great about the texture and the feel of the grips that did it for me. Now that may not be the same for you, so be sure you hold one of these rifles for yourself before making a decision. Owing to the full length top Picatinny rail, the Danny Defense DDM4 V7 Pro comes with no factory sights whatsoever. So this is where my enhancements began. For optics, I did a combo configuration. On top, I mounted the Barris RTX-6, a one to six zoom rifle scope, which was designed for competition. I also mounted the Barris Fast Fire 3 Red Dot on a 45 degree offset for up close targets. This allows for faster target acquisition and greater accuracy. After this, I decided to add a few other red anodized components. I added an oversized magazine release button, takedown pins, bolt release button, a front quick disconnect swivel attachment point, and I made the end plate and the castle knot red also. So now let's talk about shooting. First, I'd like to say that the rifle is a smooth shooter. The DDM4 V7 Pro is a purpose-built for three-gun competition rifle, and that role it performs excellently. As you can see in this 10 round burst, the gas system of the rifle softens the recoil of the muzzle <clears throat> along with the muzzle climb mitigator helps the follow up shots, which in turn aids in keeping the rifle on target. Shooting fast, slow, full max, partial max, emergency reloads, and anything in between, the DDM4 V7 Pro ate what I fed it and it just kept firing over and over and over again. Shooting fast standing up between 25 and 50 yards with the RTA6 and the red box transitioning back and forth, I could consistently ring four to six inch groups with the Geasley three gun trigger with its like two and a half pound break and extremely positive research. It was just superb. Shooting with the RTX6 and the bipod from the bench, I had groupings of wide 1.5 MOA and that was good enough for my purpose since I really wasn't using match grade ammo. I was just trying to, you know, have fun. Wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. I just wanted to take the rifle out, take it through its paces and have fun while doing it. The superb accuracy, fantastic handling and fault free functionality will please just about any shooter. Even if you don't plan on competing in a three gun competition, this is a great overall rifle and a must have AR-15 style variant. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. As I said before, this is by no means an entry level AR-15 variant for all pockets. Out of the box, it's a competition powerhouse and a high quality product. And like most things in the world, quality comes at a price. Like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, the rifle comes with a lifetime product warranty. Not owner, product. Whoever owns that rifle, lifetime warranty. And yes, I would say this mil spec rifle is worth the money, especially if dependability, durability, and quality mean anything to you. I love my rifle. Well, that's it for now. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, follow, and share. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. I'll see you soon.